struggling with endless tutorials just to learn anything, edit videos, or bring your ideas to life. Now Google AI Studio makes it effortless, replacing the need for long tutorials with instant, step-by-step -step help. Let's dive in. This is Pervez Durrani and you are watching Guru Tech Solutions. First, you need to log into Google AI Studio. Once you're in, you'll land on the main dashboard. Here you can see the Run Settings section. You can choose the model, in this case it's Gemini 2.5, currently considered the world's smartest chat model. You'll also find the token count showing how many tokens are used during the prompt execution. Next, there's the temperature setting. Adjusting the temperature changes the randomness of the model's responses. A lower temperature makes it more focused and deterministic, while a higher one makes it more creative and varied. Below that, we have tool options. Structured output. Gemini can return well-organized responses. Code execution. Gemini can write and run code to solve complex problems. Function calling. You can define functions that Gemini can call during conversation. Grounding with Google search. This lets Gemini pull real-time information from Google. In the advanced settings, you'll find options like safety settings, add safe stop sequences if needed, output length, Set limits for how long the response should be. On the left-hand side, there's a prompt gallery. Here, you can explore different pre-built prompts and learn how to craft effective prompts for Google Gemini. You'll also see the system instructions option. This allows you to set custom behavior for the chatbot, like defining the tone, style, or specific guidelines for how it should respond. Now, let's try an example from the prompt gallery. We'll select the Image to Recipe in JSON format prompt. To modify it, we'll remove the part about generating the output in JSON format and rerun it. What happens now is, when we upload an image of a dish, Gemini will first analyze and describe the image. Then it will generate a full recipe based on the dish it detects including ingredients, instructions, and additional notes to help you cook it yourself. As you can see here, it successfully created an image description, then listed the recipe in a detailed, organized way. Now let's explore the stream feature in Google AI Studio. Here, you can select a voice for the AI and also choose a language. As you can see, there are a wide variety of languages available, you can select any one according to your needs. You can also set the media resolution for your stream. Additionally, there's an option to enable or disable coverage, which lets Gemini send both audio and video streams. You can turn this feature on or off depending on whether speech is detected. Now let's check out the share screen option. We'll demonstrate this by selecting a Chrome tab and choosing Notebook LM. Once the tab is shared, we can start interacting with Gemini. For example, I can say, Hello Gemini, how are you? Hello Gemini, how are you doing? I want to know about Notebook LM. Okay, what would you like to know about Notebook LM? How can I create a new notebook? To create a new notebook, you can click on the Create New button in the top left corner. Did you want me to show you where that is? Can you show me where it is? Okay, I've marked the create new button in the top left corner with a green box. Does that help? Now you need to add sources that Notebook LM can use to base its responses on. You can upload files, link to websites, paste text, or connect to Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Slides, or YouTube. Which of these options would you like to know more about? How can I insert a PDF file into Notebook LM? You can drag and drop the file into the upload area, or you can click the Choose File to Upload button to select the file from your computer. Would you like me to show you where those are? I see that you have selected Effective Study Habits for Academic Success as a source. Would you like me to summarize the information displayed on the right, or do you have specific questions about it? After selecting your file, you can also ask, 
How can I create a mind map from this PDF file? Got it. Got it. You can click the mind map button in the lower panel to automatically generate a mind map of the document. Now, you can click on each of the topics, study environment, time management, and study techniques to expand and see more details. Do you want me to do it? As you can see with screen sharing, you can learn how to use any app or website interactively with the help of Gemini. Now let's look at another example, using Adobe Premiere Pro. To do this, we again use the screen share option. This time under the Windows tab, we select Adobe Premiere Pro and start sharing the screen. Now you can interact with Gemini by saying something like, okay, Gemini, here I have a clip. Can you tell me which app this is? And how can I bring this clip into my timeline? Okay, looks like you have a clip in Adobe Premiere Pro and you want to bring it to the timeline. Is that right? Got it. You can simply drag the clip from the project panel at the bottom left of the screen to the timeline panel below the program monitor. Does that After make sense? After bringing the clip into my timeline, let's say I want to make a cut at a specific point where my cursor is placed. Gotcha. What is it? I can simply ask Gemini, how can I make a cut here? You would like to make a cut? To add a cut, you can use the razor tool in the toolbar on the left side of the screen. Click on the razor tool, then click on the spot in the timeline where you want to make the cut. Is there anything else I can help you with? Following the instructions, I make the cut successfully. Now suppose I want to slow down a section of the clip. I can ask Gemini, how can I slow down this part? I see you want to make a section of the clip slower. After you've cut the clip, right click on it and select speed slash duration. In the speed slash duration window, you can adjust the speed to slow it down. What percentage should I set it to for a noticeable slow motion effect? Okay, this depends on how much slower you want the clip to be. The lower the percentage, the slower the clip will be. For example, 50% will make it half the speed, and 25% will make it a quarter of the speed. How slow do you want it to be? Setting the speed to 50% will make the clip play at half the original speed. Slash duration window. Is there anything else I can help you with? After applying it, the clip plays slower, exactly as I wanted. Now, let's explore another exciting feature of Google AI Studio, video generation with VEO, using the latest VEO2 model. Here you'll see options to set the aspect ratio, like 16 to 9 for widescreen or 9 to 16 for vertical videos. You can also select the resolution and even add a negative prompt if you want to tell VEO what not to include in the video. To generate a video, we'll first select a picture and then add a prompt. In this case, a prompt we created earlier using ChatGPT to make the description more accurate. After selecting the video duration, aspect ratio, and number of output results, we click the Run button. Once the request is complete, you can see VEO has generated an amazing video based purely on the prompt and the picture. And the output matches the description very closely. Now let's create another video. This time we'll use a picture of a panda riding a chopper. We'll give VEO a prompt asking it to start the bike, make it move, and add some movement to the panda. After processing, let's check the result. As you can see, the tires are spinning, the background is moving, and there's realistic motion added to the panda. Overall, it has done an impressive job at bringing the static image to life. If you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.